see here even 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 answer will be even these out these out this is out and it is out because 70 square is 4900 70 square is 4900 this should be 4600 plus 300 root of 540 cannot give you 300 70 out 72 out answer is 68 5 seconds approach 5 seconds approach this is the power of great content sir so even 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 answer will be an even number 69 it is an odd number these out 70 and 72 is out 70 square is 4900 4600 plus 300 root of 540 can it give you 300 no stupid answer option 70 and 72 are eliminated answer for this question is nothing but 68 over go to the next question go to the next question please do not miss any of the classes i hope each and every student is enjoying these free youtube live classes kindly reply in the live chat right probably if you are not enjoying it i do the work which i enjoy most i spend more time which gives me a learning curve are you all enjoying it kindly reply it in the live chat i want each and everybody to reply in the live chat because in a way all the 200 plus students are giving your personal time to me it's extremely important for me to respect your personal time and make your time the most productive time because you got associated with anil nayar what i can do in your life is just to make your time productive and take you to an x level to a 5x level with whatever skill set i have in my life everybody right everybody kindly reply if you are there in the class i would have seen your facial expression i would have understood whether you have understood or not now it is a virtual platform the only way for me to understand whether you are understanding the concept or not is through your comments please do not listen to my class if it is not exciting for you go out and do a job which is exciting for you right I will try my level best to give you right as many concepts as possible because I have a team of Oxford University MBA graduates and a Stanford University MBA graduates. There is some storage charges that charges definitely I'll keep you because anything that you are paying for it then only you will understand the value right. I hope it is clear in case if you are enjoying it I would request each one of you I can only request even though you are very young to me in terms of age session number two you know it very well that calendars I did not discuss the clocks only we have spent for two hours session number there are two more concepts the only way you are you can show love for your teacher is calendars I am trusting each one of you who said yes to me that session number two you will make it 700 plus watching you can only tell your friend watch the class for five minutes you will understand the difference i will start my session number two right i am also taking my personal time show your love by sharing the i will share that session two link very shortly by 11 o'clock share it in every group and make it 700 plus watching anyway they are watching the class freely session number two i am going ahead in with the next problem trusting each one of you that you will help me i am someone who started right this class with absolutely one or two students and sometime the class will go up to if probably if covid does not have happened i would have taken a session in lb stadium with hyderabad with 30 to 40 000 students and make them sit for six to eight hours next one see here let y equal n to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 plus same thing what you do assume this is not there this is 1 by 2 plus something 2 plus something denominator value is increasing betas betis so the value will be less than 0.5 these is nothing but 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus something 3 1 denominator by denominator the value will increase these are nothing but 3 by 7 these are nothing but 0 0.42 so the value will be greater than 0 0.42 and it is less than 0 0.5 
वैल्यू इज ग्रेटर दैन पॉइंट फोर टू एंड लेस दैन राइट लेस दैन पॉइंट फाइव रूट नाइन दट इज एक्सैक्टली वै वी डिस्कसड दट कॉन्सेप्ट रूट नईन इट इज थ्री प्लस टू बै सिक्स दी इज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री वेरी वेरी क्लोज टू थ्री पॉइंट थ्री आंसर शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन पॉइंट फोर टू लेस दैन पॉइंट फाइव दी इज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री पॉइंट थ्री प्लस थ्री सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री आई होप इट इज क्लियर राइट दी इज रूट लेवन थर्टी थ्री होल स्क्वेर इज आई होप यू गॉट एन आइडिया राइट वन मिनट सर आई विल देर इज नो स्पेस आई विल डू इट इन ए फ्रेस्ट लाइड D is nothing but y is one by two plus something. So value is less than point five. D is y is one by two plus one by three plus something. The value is greater than point four two. Now y to solve root eleven. It lies between root nine and root sixteen. Three plus two by seven, which is nothing but three point two eight. Substitute there. Right root fifteen. It is nothing but root nine and root sixteen. Three plus six by seven, which is three point eight. Thirty nine whole square is one five two one. Three point nine whole square is fifteen point two one. So substitute whichever answer you will get. That itself is the answer. I hope the idea it is clear. I hope the idea it is clear. So you can substitute it and you can find it. Another one, another model. I hope it is clear. Few more questions we will solve. One minute, sir. Let us see if the question contains variables. Answer contains variables. Any question is there. Now see here. This is another variety. I'll come back to it in another two minutes. Question contains numerical values. Answer contains answer contains variables. Another type. What you do is you substitute n equivalent to one. If I substitute n equivalent to one, question it is nothing but six. Answer also substitute as n equivalent to one. If I substitute option number D, two by twenty seven into Ten square minus nineteen. It is nothing but two by twenty-seven into eighty-one. Three two zero six. Three two zero six. So option number D. Substitution method is the best method. If the question contains numerical values and answer contains variables, question contains numerical values, answer contains variables, question contains numerical values, answer contains variables. Use the substitution method. Use the substitution method. Now these are all substitution method. One minute, sir. Let us solve some more questions. some more questions now please write down some concepts 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 right arithmetic progression arithmetic progression means difference between difference is same in two consecutive terms in two consecutive values please write down these concepts difference is same in two consecutive values then that is said to be arithmetic progression in arithmetic progression 1 4 7 10 13 1 3 5 7 9 and 11 right first series i took the number of terms odd average average are arithmetic mean average are arithmetic mean it is nothing but first term plus last term by 2 First term plus last term by two, one plus thirteen by two. It is nothing but seven, which is the middle term. Which is the middle term. There are two terms to the left. There are two terms to the right. If I take the number of terms as even, it average is nothing but first term plus last term by two, one plus eleven by two, which is nothing but six. Six is not present in the series. So, if the number of terms are even, the value will not be the term, right? If the number of terms are odd, the average value will be the term. Now, if you see, what will average will tell? Average will tell how many terms are there to the left. 
how many terms are there to the right here it is middle term 2 to the left 2 to the right so number of terms to the left of the average and the number of terms to the right of the average should be same average is nothing but in simple language average is nothing but middle value average is nothing but middle value general definition is average is nothing but sum of the quantities by number of the quantities average is nothing but sum of the quantities by number of the quantities in arithmetic progression in arithmetic progression in arithmetic progression average is nothing but the middle value average is nothing but the middle value please write down no formulas nothing with this logic i will solve it average is nothing but middle value average is nothing but the middle value average is nothing but the middle value this is in arithmetic progression this is in arithmetic progression it is also nothing but sum of the quantities by number of the quantities for any kind of sequence any sequence where the series is in ap or not in ap generic definition is sum of the quantities by number of the quantities but in ap it is nothing but the middle value these two only based upon these two concepts i will solve some of the original exam questions in less than 30 seconds no formula based approach no formula based approach average is middle value i hope it is clear now let us see first question in an ap having 15 terms t1 t2 and so on up to 15 terms eighth term is equivalent to 10 eighth term means eighth term please think logically there are seven terms to the left there are seven terms to the right so this eighth term is nothing but the average average is nothing but 10 average is nothing but sum of the quantities by number of the quantities sum of the series is nothing but 150 sum of the series is nothing but 150 otherwise what you will use a plus 7d is equivalent to 10 sn is because you are so much habituated with the formulas right directly your subconscious will hit here right think a little beyond the formula based things this is the biggest problem with our maculous education system on a mother's birthday we cannot take a white paper and write down how much we love our mother in our own language but go to stupid archie's gallery read what an american poet Tennyson wrote about his mother in a poetic way. Birthday is the day when you are gifted to the world and the world was gifted to you. Pay 50 rupees, 100 rupees and give it to mother on her birthday. Telling from me to my mother. It is not from you. It is from Tennyson to your mother. Tennyson is wishing your mother. Right? Pathetic. Right? I just asked a student who came to me yesterday for a software engineer job. He said, sir, I am from a very good university with 92 percentage. I said, good, please sit. Right, sir, I am good in coding. I said, what is the first C program you wrote? Hello, show me the zeros and ones of the C program. Hello, take half an hour time. He is looking at me the way rabbit looks at a giraffe. I said, for a hello program, show me the hexadecimal output because i asked him what does compiler do he said compiler converts show me the hexadecimal sir this i don't know tell me a reason why traveling salesperson does not choose divide and conquer sir this i don't know right tell me why c language syntax ends with semicolon this i don't know i said i will give you 5000 rupees right because you do not even know any abcd of coding you buy heart at 20 programs and you got good marks right and that platform is a useless platform where you mugged up if you go to the outside world your bosses will scold you and they will tell you what is that you learnt in btech I'm, 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 I'm being very straight to you but that's how it is corporates work you do not have the talent there are no emotions in a corporate life Kam kar paisa le. Kam mat kar, please chodo. This is the simple language. 
Nobody will give money to you if you do not have that competency. Please ensure if you are not skillful, ensure that you learn the skill. I hope it is clear to you. 15 terms are there. 7 terms to the left, 7 terms to the right. Middle term is nothing but average. Average is S n by n. Right? Again, 7th term, total 13 terms. 13 terms means there are 6 terms to the left and 6 terms to the right. Middle term is nothing but 7th term. Average is nothing but S n by n. Aver 7th term is 40. Yes, 13 by 13. Answer is nothing but 520. Answer is nothing but 520. Over answer. Right? 13 terms. 6 terms to the left. And 6 terms to the right. Middle term is T T7. But the value given is T8. Answer is cannot be determined uniquely. Cannot be determined uniquely. In bracket, it depends on values of E and D. It depends on values of E and D. Only if the seventh term is there, you will get a constant value. Otherwise, you will get an expression. Depending upon the value of A and D, you will get different answers. So, answer is cannot be determined uniquely. Cannot be determined uniquely. I hope the idea it is clear. Next one. Sum of the first 12 terms of an AP is equivalent to sum of the first 18 terms of an AP. Sum of the first 30 terms of an AP. Sum of the first 12 terms is equivalent to sum of the first 18 terms. Let us put it. T1, T2, T3. Logically, we will solve. These are the first 12 terms. It is equivalent to sum of the first 18 terms. 15, 16, 17. 17, 18. Sum of the first 12 terms is equivalent to sum of the first 18 times. Everybody, please drop your pens. Please look at the screen. T1, T2, T3, T2, 12 till 18. Sum of the first 12 is equivalent to sum of the first 18. Sum of the first 12 is equivalent to sum of the first 18. Can I write like this? sum of the first 12 plus sum of the next 6 it is nothing but sum of total 18 terms are you all with me sum of first 12 is equivalent to sum of next 6 terms total it is 18 terms this and this are equal that means this sum is 0 sum of the last 6 terms is 0 average is s n by n average of the last 6 terms should be 0 Average of the last six terms, if it is 0, 3 and next 3, that means t <coughs> average is t15.5 is 0. t15.5, it is 0. Again, I am explaining. Sum of first 12 is equivalent to sum of first 18. First conclusion, sum of last six terms, it is 0. Sum of last six terms, it is 0. 3 to the left, 3 to the right. Middle value, T15.5, it is 0. What is the question that he is asking? Sum of 30 terms. 30 terms is 15 terms to the left, 15 terms to the right. What is the middle value? T15.5. Middle value is average. If average is 0, sum of 30 terms is 0. Sum of 30 terms is 0. Very beautiful way of solving these progression question without using formula. Again, look at me, sir. There are 12 terms given. There are 18 terms given. He is telling first 12 terms is equivalent to total 18 terms. First 12 terms is equivalent to 18 terms. That means the next 6 terms sum is 0. Next 6 terms sum is 0. 6 terms sum is 0. Average of the last 6 terms to be 0. 3 to the left, 3 to the right. Middle value of the last 6. T15.5 is 0. When you got T15.5, that is straight away nothing but the average of the question. Sum of 30 terms is 15 to the left, 15 to the right. Middle value is nothing but 0. 
t15.5 is nothing but 0 average is 0 sum is nothing but 0 average is 0 sum is nothing but 0 answer for this question is big 0 answer for this question is nothing but big 0 again i will take another question sum of 30 terms is equivalent to sum of 40 terms sum of 70 terms equivalent to how much sum of 70 terms is equivalent to how much please drop your pens this is a question where you can solve it orally 30 terms equivalent to 40 terms sum of the last 10 terms it is nothing but 0 10 terms it is 0 5 terms to the left and 5 terms to the right 5 to the left and 5 to the right middle value is nothing but 35.5 35.5 it is 0 70 terms 35 to the left 35 to the right t 35.5 is, is 0 answer is nothing but 0 answer is nothing but 0 are you all with me i hope this idea is clear kindly reply in case if it is clear or if it is not clear kindly mention your doubts each and every valid doubt i am there with you i will never skip a question i am not like the teacher who says good doubt we will discuss tomorrow right right here in the class calling you by your name i will tell the doubt i hope it is clear everybody with little investment of time every day spending time with me and enrolling for the course every day watching course after few days your mindset will change it is like you keep a magnet with an ordinary substance and with the days to come with more and more coming closer to it this will inherit magnetic properties you spend more time with some person who is an inspirational to you you will inherit some good things which in you the way he is solving a problem the way he is composed during a struggle the way he helps you out during your struggle times you emulate it spend more time with me right because there is a beautiful saying by aristotle don't teach a student the things teach them the way the things should has to be when you try to change the way if i change the way you look at a problem the problems you look at will change this is an exact quote of aristotle do not teach to impress students teach to build the curiosity in the students thereby without even right pushing them they will solve the assignment they will have an interest my only thing which i do it in my class is to create an interest teaching is to create an interest because you all know that you hate a subject the only reason why you hated your subject is you hate the teacher who taught you the subject if I, a teacher can make a student love the subject and like the teacher learning the subject is never difficult everybody says it is clear so i can move ahead this concept if you share with your friends and probably your friends might not have heard this concept right now see here sum of five terms in an ap it is 75 sum of 10 terms it is an ap it is 150 sum of 15 terms it is in an ap what we will do is we will take it as 200 sir otherwise this question is two seconds sum of 15 terms and sum of 20 terms 15 terms and 20 terms see here five terms it is 75 10 terms it is 200 see here nothing no formula formula please throw it in dustbin in my class five terms it is 75 multiplication factor is 15 10 terms it is 200 multiplication factor is into 20 that means if i increase 5 terms multiplication factor is increasing by 5 if i increase 5 terms multiplication factor will increase by 5 answer is 375 if I increase it by 5 terms, multiplication factor will increase by 30. Answer is nothing but 600. Answer is nothing but 600. Again, I am explaining it by writing step by step so that you will understand exactly what is happening. 
5 terms is 75. 2 terms left, 2 terms right. Third term is nothing but av average, which is Sn by N. 75 by 5 is nothing but 15. These are nothing but the averages beta. 10 terms, 5 to the left, 5 to the right. T 5.5 is nothing but 200 by 10, which is nothing but 20, which is nothing but 20. T3 to T5.5, there is a difference of 2.5D. 2.5D has given an addition of 5. You don't need to write this. 15 terms, 7 terms to the left, 7 terms to the right. This is T8. Again 2.5D, again plus 5 which is nothing but 25. I hope you understood. These are all time wasters. Anything which takes more ink in our pen, more steps, we will not solve it. In fact, it's a joke. In Bangalore, when I teach in NIT Surat Kal, when I go to IIT Madras, most of the students who go for a cat coaching in the month of September, I go to IITs. Tell, give them four days of training program. Each day the class is for 12 hours. 4 into 12, it is 48 hours. Each one has to pay 8,500 rupees. In 12, 48 hours, they will learn so many concepts what they did not learn by paying 35, 40,000 rupees in a coaching center. So that is the reason there will be a repeat audience for me. Suppose I go to Niti Meenakshi, I keep 750 students in a class, each student will pay 500 rupees, I tell them sit and listen to my class, most likely similar question will come, the same concept, they will see the impact of my class, when they write some of the placement papers, they will say, Coming a score of 20 out of 50, they are easily getting 40, 41, 45. That is, I know the hack behind the success in aptitude examination. That is why I strongly recommend because there is nobody in India who will give you 300 plus hours of content, 1500 plus concepts at such a low price and that to me taking a class. Right? Next one. Sum of 9 terms in an AP. Sum of 9 terms in an AP is 72. Sum of, please drop your pen, sir. 15 terms in an AP is 150. Question is, please drop your pens. You are all unaligned students. Please show some attitude in front of your friends in terms of the kind of concepts that you know. Attitude of saying that let me try without using pen. I will not use pen unless and until I use my mind. That attitude definitely I will teach you. I am a very selfish teacher which I told you. I want my students who are attending my class to be different from others. Others I don't even care. Right? Sum of 9 terms in an AP is 72. Multiplication factor 8. 15 terms in an AP 150. It is 10. There is 6 terms increase. It is increasing by 2. 6 terms increase. It will increase by 2. 12. Answer is 252. Answer is 252. Answer is 252. Idea clear? 9 terms it is 72 into 8. 15 terms 150 into 10. Not even a single problem I used a formula. 21 times. 6 terms increase it is into 12. This is for you. Chinmay and Tejo beta. Chinmay and Tejo. Sum of 5 terms in an AP. It is 75. Sum of. I changed the question sir. Otherwise it will become into 15 into 15. So, in 215, 225 and 375. This is the answer. Uh, good. You have made it clear. Right? Now, see here. Sum of 9 terms and sum of 15 terms. Next one. Please drop your, please drop your pens. Sum of 15 terms. It is nothing but 150. Sum of 25 terms. It is nothing but 200. Sum of n terms. It is nothing but zero, right? I will definitely make red face if my students use pen to solve this question. For your information, this is again an original cat question. This is an original cat question. This is into 10. This is into 8. Into 10 and into 8. 10 terms increase. It is decreasing by 2. So, 25 terms 
it is into 8 15 terms it is nothing but into 10 i need 0 into 6 into 4 into 2 into 0 35 45 55 and 65 n value is 65 20 seconds it will take to solve the problem generally 95 percentage of the algebra problems 95 percentage of the algebra problems comes under four types comes under four types what are the four types see here the four types are question contains variables question contains variables answer contains numerical values answer will be in numerical values question contains variables answer also contains variables question contains numerical values answer contains variables question contains numerical values answer contains numerical values answer contains numerical values if you are good in these all these four types almost you are ready for algebra based questions four types of questions type number one question has variable answer has a numerical values i will explain each and every type question number two question has variables answer has variables type number three question has numerical values answer has variables question has numerical values and answer has numerical values we will discuss each and every possible variety in our 120 minutes of class these are the four types which we are going to discuss i hope it is clear now let us straight away get into some warm-up questions some warm-up questions then we will get into our problem solving warm-up questions how you should probably solve algebra questions this was the question which was asked in cognizant technology solutions question is x into 4 minus 15 by x equivalent to 4 by x x square plus 1 by x square equivalent to how much options are 7 3 by 4 8 5 by 9 9 3 by 17 16 1 by 16 exact question x into 4 minus 15 by x equivalent to 4 by x x square plus 1 by x square students who are very very good in maths who are habituated with the formulas based immediately they will do x into 4x minus 15 by x equivalent to 4 by x they will cross multiply 4x square minus 15x equivalent to 4. Very beautiful quadratic equation they will get. They will find the value of x. They will do x square and they will do 1 by x square and they will add. By the time close to 45 seconds time is over. In case if you think that I am going to solve algebra like this. You are completely wrong. You can leave the class. If you think that I will teach you something which you already know. If Anil Nair or if Anil Nair students are solving the question. How I will see is x square is a. 1 by x square is 1 by a. a plus 1 by a is a 1 by a. Only one option is of the form a 1 by a. He is not asking the question based on quadratic equation. He wants to know whether you know the definition of quad mixed fraction. He you know the definition of a mixed fraction. Mixed fraction mixed fraction a x square is a 1 by x square is 1 by a a plus 1 by a is a 1 by a only one option is of the form a 1 by a hey anil sir what if there is an another option 25 1 by 25 in that case what you will do is a is nothing but 16 x square is nothing but 16 x is plus or minus 4 take one value 4 check with the left hand side equivalent to right hand side 4 into 4 minus 15 by x equivalent to 4 by 4. 1 equivalent to 1. So, option number D is satisfying. D is nothing but just read the question before using your mathematical skills. What is he asking? x square plus 1 by x square. x square is a. 1 by x square is 1 by a. a plus 1 by a is nothing but a 1 by a. Only one option is of the form a 1 by a. What you are taking 45 seconds actually will take 5 seconds. If you know, right? the root cause of the problem that is what exactly what i am interested in every class of mine 
டைம் சேவிங் அப்ரோச்சஸ் ஈஸியஸ்ட் அப்ரோச்சஸ் பெஸ்ட் ஃபாஸ்டஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஈஸியஸ்ட் அப்ரோச்சஸ் மெத்தட் ஒன் மெத்தட் டூ ஐ ஹோப் தஸ்ட் கொஸ்டன் ஈஸ் கிளியர் செகண்ட் கொஸ்டன் Second question, the question which I created and gave it to Tata Consultancy Services in 2014 for which I got a name, fame and a lot of money. The question is 31x plus 30y plus 29z equivalent to 366. x plus y plus z equivalent to how much? Now if you see here, there is nothing but an equation with the degree 1. and three variables so that is x y and z right most of the students will solve this equation you don't need to solve it in a year in a year there are certain months which got 29 days february if it has 29 days the year is nothing but a leap year year is nothing but a leap year number of days in a leap year it is nothing but 366 anyway at special class we are going to discuss all the problems related to calendar there are certain months which got 30 days there are certain months which got 31 days january march may july august october december 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 x value is 7 z value how many months got 29 1 y value is nothing but 4 so x plus y plus z is nothing but totally how many months are there in a year answer is nothing but 12 answer is nothing but 12 i hope the idea it is clear rakesh x square plus 1 by x square x square is nothing but a 1 by x square is 1 by a a plus 1 by a is a 1 by a 2 1 by 2 it is 2 plus 1 by 2 beta it is 2 plus 1 by 2 during my school days i was so bad in mathematics till 6th class 2 1 by 2 don't do the silly mistake of cancelling and writing it as 1 this is mistake 2 plus 1 by 2 most of the teachers used to scold me because i used to ask all weird questions like 31 minus 17 till 7th class i am not sure about this logic my teachers used to say one carry it is 10 and it is 14 right till 12 years i did not find out from where the 10 is coming from right probably then i realized that 10 is coming because one is carried from the tens place 12 into 13 these are 36 and it is 12 these are nothing but 156 till fifth class i did not understood why they are leaving these gap why they are leaving this gap then i realized that these are nothing but 120 plus 36 which is nothing but 156 these y w and h related questions is what our macula education system does not focus on why what when where and how what is the difference between indian standard time and greenwich mean time people will say it is 80 to and of 5 and a half hours but if you ask anil nayar i'll say i don't know this answer but i know that 82 and a half degrees east longitude is passing through india to move from another place one place to another place it takes 5 minutes so it is nothing but sorry 4 minutes 165 by 2 into 4 which is nothing but 330 minutes which is 5 and a half hours it is 4 minutes this is what i am interested more in this is what i wanted my students to probably learn variety of subjects including aptitude aptitude is a tool through which i am entering your mind and altering the way that you look at a problem in your life for everything there is a logical way and there is a formula way formula is a south our process but it does not work always a formula is derived from logic a logic cannot be derived from formula second one third one some warm up questions third one x power 7 minus x power 3 equivalent to 1 2 3 7 x is a natural number x is a natural number how many values x will take how many values x will take immediately traditional method students what they will do is they will factorize it this is a very cumbersome process what you are not understanding is you have to read the question half of the problem will be solved x is a natural number if x is a natural number x will be an even number or x will be an odd number 
even number power any number is even even number power any number is even even minus even is even odd number power any number is odd odd number power any number is odd odd minus odd is even right hand side it should be an even number right hand side it should be an even number 1 2 3 7 it is an odd number so how many values x will take no value of x no value of x will satisfy this equation very very easy question most of the students think that it is a difficult question it is not a difficult question it is an easy question if you know it if we x is n here the root cause is x is a natural number x is a natural number if x is a natural number x should be an even number or x should be an odd number so even minus even even odd minus odd it is also even right hand side should be an even number but right hand side given in the question is odd therefore no value of x not a single question you will see it in a straightforward textbook approach that is the reason exactly you should succeed the class in time right teja for you right please repeat the question number 2 31 30 29 366 teja the root cause of the problem is the coefficients coefficients are 31 30 and 29 it represents the number of days for a particular month 29 is for february 29 days if february has 29 days then the year will be a leap year remaining 31 and 30 how many months are there our parents must have taught how to count the number of months by using this january march may july august x value will be 7 beta y value will be 4 and z value will be 1 I hope it is clear. Third one. Sir, what if the right hand side is an even number? Fourth question. X power 7 minus X power 3. It is nothing but 1292. X is a natural number. X is a natural number. How many values X will take? X power 7 minus X power 3 equal to 1292. X is a natural number. How many values X will take? What is this power 7? What is this power 3? Right? There is a beautiful concept in number system. Cyclicity of the unit digit. Cyclicity of the unit digit of any number. Cyclicity of the unit digit of any number. It is nothing but 4. After 4 steps, it should definitely get repeated. If A is the unit digit, A power 1, it is A. After 4 steps, it should get repeated, which is nothing but A. A square, A is the unit digit beta. After 4 steps, after 4 steps, it should get repeated. A power 3, after 4 steps, it should get repeated. A power 4K, it is nothing but A power 4. Please write down these important key point. Cyclicity of the unit digit of any number is 4. Less than 4, sometimes it may be repeated, sometimes it may not be repeated. But after 4 steps, 4 steps means it could be 4, 8, 12, 16 and so on. So multiple of 4. Any multiple of 4 is written as 4K. Any multiple of 4 is written as 4K. A power 4K plus 1 is A. A power 4K plus 2 is A square a cube and a power 4 cyclicity of the unit digit of any number is 4 that means if x cube unit digit is a x cube unit digit is a x power 7 is x power 4 into 1 plus 3 4k plus 3 unit digit is again formed out of x cube x cube unit digit is a because the difference between the powers is nothing but 4, unit digit will be same. Unit digit will be same. Unit digit will be same for. Unit digit will be same for x power 7 and x power 3. Unit digit will be same for x power 7 and x power 3. So, if I take x value 12, example, 2 power 7 is 128. 2 power 3 is 8. 8 minus 8, it is 0. 
3 power 3 is 27. 3 power 7 also it will be 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. Right hand side is nothing but unit digit should be 0. Right hand side unit digit should be 0. Right hand side unit digit is 2. So the answer is no value for x. Answer is no value for x. I hope the idea it is clear. The difference in the powers is nothing but 4. Cyclicity of the unit digit of any number is 4. After 4 steps, it will get repeated. 3 after 4 steps, 7, it will get repeated. This unit digit and this unit digit are same. So, both if I subtract it, 8 minus 8 is 0. 7 minus 7 is 0. Right hand side unit digit should be 0. Right hand side unit digit should be 0. But according to the question, right hand side unit digit is nothing but 2. So answer is no value. If, if there is one variable and the difference in the powers is a multiple of 4, right hand side unit digit is 0. Right hand side unit digit it is 0. Suppose for example, for example, if it is 49 minus a power 5 equivalent to 358. A is a natural number. Most of the students think that it is an advanced level question, but it is a very, very easy question. A power 49 minus A power 5. What is the difference in the powers? 44. 44 is 4 into 11. Is the difference in the powers a multiple of 4? Yes. So the right hand side unit digit. Right hand side unit digit is nothing but 0. But it is 8. So the answer is nothing but no value for A exists. No value for A exists. I hope the idea is clear. Then a smarter student might ask me a question. X power 7 minus X power 3 is 120. If X is a natural number, how many values X can say? Suppose if I take 320, it is directly visible 2 power 7 minus 2 power 3. It is 320. The best way to solve this question if it is given in, in your exam is not to solve the question because this question will take this question will take one or two minutes to solve. In one or two minutes, I can attempt to five more questions and get all of them right. This is what I wanted to teach you. Right three, wrong minus one. The net gain because of solving this question is three marks. But if I choose not to solve this question and solve five more questions, each is taking close to about 20 20 to 25 seconds easy question the net gain is 15 marks net gain is 15 marks 15 marks 3 marks you will become a loser in the competitive examination you will become a winner in the competitive examination concept one a square minus 5a plus 6 equivalent to 0 the there are three terms a square 5a and 6 right what is the highest power highest power in a term highest power in a term it is nothing but the degree highest power in a term it is nothing but the degree so the degree of this expression is nothing but 2 a square b power 1 plus a power 5 plus a b power 6 equivalent to 0 if two variables are there add it 2 plus 1 3 these are nothing but 5. These are nothing but 7. 3, 5, 7. What is the highest? So, the degree of this expression is nothing but 7. Degree of this expression is nothing but 7. a power 5 divided by a power 3. These are nothing but a square. If there is any division operation, please do it. What is the degree of this expression? These are nothing but 2. These are nothing but 2. Concept number 1. Right? What is the definition of a degree? Highest power in a term. This is nothing but a non-negative integer. It is nothing but a non-negative integer. It cannot take negative values. It cannot take fractions. It cannot take fractions. Highest power. Highest power is nothing but a non-negative integer. Non-negative integer. A power 5 by A power 3 is nothing but A square. I hope the definition of degree in terms of one variable, in terms of two variables, 
in terms of division i hope it is clear now let us see now let us see next one write concept number one degree concept see here there is a question that is given here all are taken from the exam model questions p cube q square minus q square q cube r square and everything method one which is taught in your narayanas or chaitanyas or any of the coaching centers method one substitute values substitute values substitute some random values and check this is again a time consuming question i will tell you when to use this concept i will give an algorithm when to use which concept method number two best method sir degree concept find out the degree of the numerator and find out the degree of the denominator degree is three plus two five is there any term with the degree five no the degree of the numerator is five p square q the degree is 3 again 3 3 3 degree in the denominator is 3 if it is in the form of a rational fraction 5 by 3 so the degree of that question is nothing but 2 degree of the question is nothing but 2 answer also it should be degree 2 answer also the degree should be 2 answer also the degree should be 2 constant constant p plus q plus r degree 1 d is nothing but degree 2 if more than one answer option has got the same degree then which method to use i will come for it i will discuss that one i am starting from by this time you should have understood how i teach structured way of learning first basic questions then intermediate questions then advanced level questions i will not jump into advanced level questions i will start with basics and i will end here question degree in the numerator p cube q square if more than one variable is there add the powers 3 plus 2 5 next also it is 5 it is nothing but 2 plus 1 3 2 plus 1 3 2 plus 1 3 numerator degree is 5 denominator degree is 3 5 minus 3 it is nothing but 2 for your information this is an original cap gemini question cap gemini question way back in 2017 right 5 minus 3 it is nothing but 2 i hope the first question is clear once you have understood it this question will take 5 seconds to solve 5 seconds to solve if you have understood the approach 3 plus 1 degree it is 4 k square it is also 2 4 minus 2 it is nothing but 2 it is also nothing but 2 it is also nothing but 2 highest degree of 2 2 2 answer should be 2 these degree 3 degree 1 constant so answer is nothing but option c just by looking at a question itself you will get to know now if you observe this is nothing but the first type of variables question contains variables question contains variables answer also contains variables or some options have got numerical values i hope you have understood this variety i told you that there are four types to solve algebra problems first type primitive type question contains variables answer contains variables or numerical values question contains even if you see here question contains variables question contains variables answer contains variables and numerical values see solving a max is different sir solving aptitude is different clearing competitive examinations is different it is like you know how to play cricket but there is a difference in the way somebody plays a test match and the way t20 is played and the way one day it is played understand the in clearing competitive examination you should have a familiarity with you should have a familiarity with all the exam patterns which questions are coming which varieties are coming if you do not have the familiarity the questions that come in cognizant is different from a tcs code vita the questions that come in google aptitude is different from a paypal aptitude if you do not know which questions are the favorite questions for the placements i'm sorry to say you are moving in the wrong wrong directions teja it is easy right p cube q square degree is nothing but 5 
everywhere it is 5 numerator degree is 5 denominator degree is 3 if it is a fraction 5 minus 3 is 2 answer degree should be 2 answer degree should be 2 b c and d out option is nothing but a clear basics you have to be extremely good now see a into b minus c whole square b square plus c square minus 2 b c divided by c minus a into a minus b a power 1 b square it is 3 again 3 again 3 highest power is nothing but 3 c into a d is nothing but 2 here it is 3 here it is 2 here it is 3 here it is 2 if it is a fraction 3 minus 2 is 1 answer degree should be 1 now it is intermediate level it is intermediate level it is intermediate level right jyotika if it is a cube a power 4 b power 2 c power 7 if there are different terms i told you that take the highest power jyotika i told you that take the highest power in a term betty take the highest power in a term 3, 6 and 7. Highest it is nothing but 7. Highest it is nothing but 7. I hope it is clear. Again I will tell you. Samyukta. D is nothing but A into. Last pro, I will repeat. B square plus C square minus 2BC divided by AC minus BC minus A square plus AB. See here. AB square it is 3. 3, 3. Numerator degree is 3. Denominator degree is 2. 3 minus 2, it is nothing but 1. 3 minus 2, it is nothing but 1. So, these degree 1, degree 1, degree 1. Answer also degree should be 1. B, C and D, it is eliminated. I hope Jyotika and Samyukta, I hope it is clear. X plus Y plus Z whole cube. X cube, this is degree 3 degree 3 degree 3 degree 3 answer should be degree 3 answer should be degree 3 these degree 1 these degree 0 so a and d are eliminated a and d are eliminated so you can now you can substitute some values x1 y1 z1 these 3 cube minus of 1 cube plus 1 cube plus 1 cube. 27 minus 3. Answer is nothing but 24. So, 24 x, y, z. 24 into 1 into 1. Please remember these flow chart. Please remember these flow chart. Step number 1. First check the degree. First check the degree. If there is only one option with the degree in the question, that is the answer. If more than one answer option has the same degree, then substitute values. Then substitute values. Substitute values. Right? Step number 1 and step number 2, it is clear. Step number 3. Right? Even after substituting, you are getting more than an answer. Right? Execute the concept from the question suppose if a concept is based on quadratic you substitute it this is the flow chart you should follow please go don't go and substitute variables without checking step number one some questions can be solved directly by using step number one which we realized it in the first problems step one then step two then step number three one by one we will discuss sir why you did x1 y1 z1 x1 y1 z1 i did it to simplify the calculation otherwise if you take more values the complexity of the question will increase there is also i will take on 11th and or 11th morning or evening one session till 11th only the classes will happen so 11th i will take a special class on all symmetry based questions which will help you to solve the questions without using concept also let us keep step number four as Concept step number 3 as a symmetry. Symmetry some 30-35 questions I will solve it. I hope it is clear. Next one. Now another concept. Concept number 2. Dependent variable concept. Now where this concept is used. I substituted some values Rakesh. I substituted some values. 
right i cannot substitute zero because everything will become zero so the next number after zero is one i made x1 y1 z1 i substituted substitution that is what i wrote right rakesh right substitution next one this is an another type what is this type question contains variables question contains variables question contains variables answer contains numerical values if the question contains variables answer contains numerical values how to solve question contains variables answer contains numerical values method number one how what is taught in you by your local teacher sees substitute some values substitute substitute some p1 q1 p1 q2 and r minus 3 if you substitute you will get this answer no right method 2 anil nayar's way of solving this question how you should solve if my students are there how they will solve is p plus q plus r equivalent to 0 p plus q plus r equivalent to 0 p plus q is nothing but minus r minus r can i say r the value of r is dependent on p and q the value of r, r is dependent on p and q r is a dependent variable r is a dependent variable make dependent variable zero make dependent variable zero sir can i take q plus r equivalent to minus p p zero yes beta if you change p to q q to r r to p still the equation will not change i made r as a dependent variable make r as a zero zero by anything zero zero into anything zero zero into anything zero p square by p square one q square by q square 1 1 plus 1 it is nothing but 2 beautiful way of solving this question for the type if the question contains variables answer contains numerical values if the question contains variables answer contains numerical values you can use these concept method number two what is method number two right find out which is a dependent variable find out which is a dependent variable and substitute it p plus q plus r is zero p plus q p plus q equivalent to minus r r is nothing but r is a dependent variable r is nothing but a dependent variable make a dependent variable zero make a dependent variable zero hey anil sir if i make q plus r equivalent to minus p make a dependent variable zero p is zero this is zero this is zero this is zero one plus one it is nothing but two still the answer will not change still the answer will not change i am not clear with your question monica so i am not taking up your question right i hope it is clear make a dependent variable zero a plus b plus c equivalent to two years the value of s c is dependent on a b and c make a dependent variable zero make a dependent variable zero your 30 seconds problem will become five seconds problem make s zero make s zero a square plus b square plus c square divided by a square plus b square plus c square answer is nothing but one answer is nothing but one make a dependent variable con zero when it is used if the question contains variables if the question contains variables answer good number of answers will have numerical values it may also be used if the answer contains variables 